Dad, the problem is there's there's just no work right now in my chosen field. You still let me let me see if I have this right. You want to be a, a daredevil? Yeah, yeah, I want to be a daredevil. And Do you I, read I don't the one ads, Ben? Do you read them? Yeah, of course I read the one ads, Dad. I read them every day. And 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 what exactly is a gal Friday? That's not for you. What what do you look under exactly when you read the ads? What category do you look just under Daredevil? Okay, Dad. Ben, I'm... where are you going? I'm going back to bed. Ben, what about the what about? Remember we had this talk about the master plan. Yeah. I knew when I was when I was ten years old that I wanted to be a psychiatrist. Ten years old, but when I was twenty, when I finished college, I took work as a pimp. I had to. There was nothing out there. No, when I when I was twenty years old, I went to work in my father's factory. Hey, yeah. And for for four years, I I I, uh, I worked in a factory. I I worked my way up initially from the elevator operator to the point where I was supervising the elevator operators. And uh, was it a manual? Uh, no, it's an automatic. Oh, good. That's but, easy. Uh, well, Ben, you get some sleep, and uh, you know what? Thanks. Cheese, uh, where did you put my magic wand so so that I can clear the table for us? That's very funny, Dad. You Why know, don't you at least put your damn dish in the sink? Would you do that for me? Well, you know, I mean, I will, okay? And I do the dishes every day. I don't see you where, ever where doing do you the go, dishes. Where do you go to do the dishes? Because you certainly don't do them here. You know, Once Dad, you, yeah. maybe you could do the dishes today, and uh, I'll do them tomorrow. Maybe we should have a schedule or something, because that's, that's the way it used to be. That seems fair enough, Ben. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go to work for 10 hours, come home, make dinner, and do the dishes. Oh, Dad, let's face it. And I mean, wait, what, what do you, you want me to wake you up when I get home from work? Oh, come on. You know, i I got to get going. Let's make up, please. Would you, can we do, I, I don't want to go to work in this mood. Can please. we please argue for, like, another two minutes? And ben, then go ben, at 9 o'clock, I'm going to be sitting face-to-face -face with an adult who thinks that his feet are not yet finished. Okay? His feet aren't finished? That's what he thinks. He says his feet are not finished. That's his big fear. I don't know either. All I know is I got to get out of this mood. I got to start thinking about him and my work and give me a hug and let's 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 be pals, okay? Who loves you? I I Who loves you? I'm I'm Who loves you? I I I do you big lug. Oh, is that okay. It's not a trick question. <laughs> Laura, I need a copy of the uh, I need a copy of the updated schedule in my office. And why don't you why don't you hang on to a copy? Uh, what? Well, I said I need what? a copy of the updated. The Wait, update, hold on. What? The updated schedule. I need a Listen, copy. Can I call you back? Cause I'm on the phone. I. Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. Um, should should I just sit down? <laughs> Um, is there something I could I could I could read, or is there something I could look look at or read? It's is there anything from you know if, that I could Here, read? Take uh, this. Uh, oh, thanks. Um, this is this is a patient's file. Mm-hmm. It, it's good. It's good. Um, yeah, it's not a bad one. I I don't know if I should be. That's okay. I do it all the time. Oh. I, I don't know if they've stopped growing yet. And how will you know when your feet are finished? When I don't have to wear sandals anymore. You understand, Bill, that I'm not a podiatrist. Um, it sounds like podiatrist. <laughs> Tell me about your wife. Um, well, she's a she's a nurse, mm -hmm. and uh, and she's from Canada. And that's about all I know about her. I sh I should have asked. Is it a um, is it a recurring dream? Yes. Do you fantasize about your mother? Did she tell you that? Bill, can we talk about your early sexual experiences? Um, anything that that uh, that comes to mind is okay. I remember the first time I had sex. Mm hmm Because I kept the receipt. That's very sweet. So you never, you, you weren't part of a group of, of friends at, at college? College was tough. I, I used to wear an earring when I was in college. You know, not a pierced one, a clip-on. One of my mother's big pearl ones. Yeah, you, you would accessorize. Yeah. Well, which came first, Bill, the earring or the loneliness? I mean, do you think that, do you think that kept people at a distance? Well, 
I was always shy around women, you know, in mm -hmm. high school and college. I mean, today, you know, they call that stalking, but I was shy. Mm. <laughs> And so is that why you stopped smoking? Yeah, well, I think I didn't want to, you know, my father smoked a lot, and uh, he's been smoking for years. He tried to quit, you know, he tried everything. He tried hypnosis, and it didn't really take. And then he mm -hmm. tried that thing with all the needles, what do they call that, heroin? He loves it. He loves it. We can't get it away from him now. Well, do you still enjoy spending time with your father? As long as I'm not driving him anywhere. Why is that? Um, I flunked my driving test twice. Mm -hmm. You know, the first time I flunked, once you hit someone, test over. Second time I flunked, there was an oral question. The guy said, what do you do with a red light? I don't know. Listen to the radio, look around. Hmm. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Don Herrera. Uh, I'm here to see Dr. Katz, please. Don. No, Don. Yeah, Don. D Dom, not Don, not Tom, and not Dan. It's Dom, okay? It's not, I mean, I'm so sick of this. Every time I call somebody, it's like, hi, can you tell them Dom Irera is calling? Darth Ferreira? No, Dom Irera. Dan and Mary? Dom Irera. Donna Marie Albergetti? No, Dom Irera! First time? Yeah, believe me, I'm not the one that needs a the therapy. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, you'll need to be crazy. this out. Thank you. I'm just doing this as a show of faith. I mean, you know what I mean? Because between you and me, she is deeply troubled. I mean, she is like sick. Sicko wacko. <laughs> uh, I think this kind of stuff maybe you should save for the doctor. You got anything to read? Uh, I'm all set, thanks. No, I mean for me. Do you, do you have anything for me to read? No. Nope. She's just like her. What are you reading? You wouldn't be interested. Hmm. How long have you been working here? Uh, I've been working here for about, um, four months. Yeah. Guess you meet a lot of wackos, huh? Um... Do you think my busts are too big for a man's? Does my face look bulbous? Let me ask you something, Bill. Whenever you come here, you always, you know, you've been to the dentist, you're on your way to the dentist. That seems to be such a, uh... I like it. But why is it that, 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 uh, you require so much dental work? My teeth are, are, are crooked. I, you know, I was supposed to get braces when I was a little kid, but my parents didn't have enough money left over from their trip. Mm. What kind of work did you have done today? I had my uh, my teeth cleaned at the dental hygienist. Yeah. Well, that, that's part of her job. And she's digging and scraping and gouging. My gums started bleeding. And she actually said this. She said, do you have a problem with your gums? They're bleeding. Well, you know, they weren't bleeding when I came in here. I think you're doing that. And she wouldn't, she wouldn't own up to any responsibility at all for, for the bleeding? None. None. How'd you like Hawaii, Bill? Uh, Hawaii was not what I thought it would be like at all. You know, I mean, I thought everybody would be wearing grass skirts and eating macadamia nuts and wearing those coconut halves on their breasts, you know. Mm. But boy, I was the only one. Did you have a, a, a problem with bedwetting when, when you were a kid? No, not as a kid. Hey, Ben. Hey, Dad. Um, What's up? I got I got a, about a minute here you're, before you're, minutes. You're, you're not going to believe this, but I, I think I got a job. Hey, that's terrific, Ben. In what, in what uh, field? It's... um. Animal husbandry. Are you familiar? Hey, with? that's great. Yeah. That is great. Um, yeah. I don't know much about it, but uh, when do you start? Um, actually, probably within two weeks. It, 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 well, that's terrific. In, right here in the city? Yeah, it's actually working at home. Working at home in animal husbandry. I don't. I don't follow you. Well, it, uh, I, I'm going to order a, a pig, a pet pig. Two pigs, two or three pigs, Dad. Yeah, I don't think. I think this is something we need to discuss. In well, it, it, it's going to be home. great. It's a Vietnamese pot belly pig, and you order it by mail. It comes from the Philippines, which is strange because it's Vietnamese. Uh huh. And uh, they send it. I, don't, I still don't get how you make money on this. Well, Where I can breed them 
and then sell the babies. So you're gonna get a you're gonna get a male pig and a female pig. I don't know. I didn't specify. I guess I'd have to have a male and a female. I guess you would. But that's good because I, the the pigs are are, are good money. Wait, hold on one second, Laura. Can you tell uh tell Dom I'm running a little bit late? Just a couple of minutes, Ben. Dad, Dad this is a good deal. I mean, mm. when you, I mean, I read the, the pamphlet about the pigs, right. and it says work at home, make money. These are good things, and that's that's why. And how much would it cost you to get to get a pair of these pigs? Well, they're listed as um, twenty nine ninety nine, ninety nine, per pig. Round that off for me, Ben. Just say the figure. What is that? Two thousand. Up. Oh, round it up. Up and off. To, yeah, well, that would be that would be three thousand. Three thousand dollars for a pig. Per pig, but the, you can mm. order in bulk, and uh, if you get uh, ten pigs, they 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 take it down ten percent for you. <laughs> You feeling old today, Dom? What do you think that's all about? My cousin Johnny says to me, uh, you know, like I never noticed, like it's not painful enough. Dom, did you lose some hair on the top? No, I went to the barber the other day. I said, do me a favor, will you cut my head in a big V? And while you're at it, give me, oh, give me a little bit of that Friar Tuck look on the top because the babes go crazy over that medieval monk look. You know what I mean, Doc? Is it me? Does it scare you, the idea of aging? I don't mind getting older. I just hope I don't panic and do something stupid. What do you mean? I don't know. Yeah, You ever see somebody with a toupee so unbelievably bad you want to go up to them? Hey, you, come here. Give me that. Give me that thing. Who do you think you're fooling, pal? Who do you think you're fooling? You could have had the decency to close the eyes on the little animal who gave up his furry little life for you, Matt Head, with this pelt. Look at that face. Maybe that's the idea, huh? You get a toupee that's so bad, nobody cares. You get one with a chin strap and a big label turned up in the back. Tell me about your early childhood. Whatever comes into your mind, whatever you remember. I, I, I went to Catholic grade school, you know, and... The one thing that nuns hated being called more than anything else, Doc, my man. They hated that. I used to constantly refer to them as sister, my man, my main man, sister, sister, man, my main, Michael Vincent, my man, sister, my man. I would get in a lot of trouble with that. You. Hey. Yes. Hi. You. You must be um the. Laura. Laura. Right. Wow. Great. So, Laura. What? I'm, I'm Ben. What can I do for you, Ben? Ben Katz. Ben. You, you know, I'm, I'm Dr. Katz's son. Really? Ben. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that he had... I'm sure he, he's, he's mentioned me. He must have... Actually, I don't think so. Little Benny? Mm, no. Benny Benny? Mm, no. Los Benitos? No, he never mentioned anything. Hmm. Um, so... What? You're my father's receptionist. Mm hmm I mean, in, in a way, we're sort of related, you and I, like, like siblings or something, because we both work for my dad. I mean, you're his receptionist, and, and I'm his um, son. So, you know. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Super. Could you go now? <laughs> oh, Lord. Do you want to uh, go out and get a cup of coffee or something? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd love to. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, okay, so if anyone calls, you just pick up the phone and you just say, Dr. Katz's office, please hold. Press that button right there. Well, I was actually... I won't be long. What I meant was that, that I, I would treat you to a cup of coffee. Okay, but could you just reimburse me when I get back? Um... Right. Okay. Did your parents get along? My father, uh, my father, God bless him, never cheated on my mother. He used to cheat on me. He used to pick up other kids after school, take them to the zoo, take them to play ball. One day he came to me. He said, look, I got to level with you. I met another kid, and for the first time in my life, I feel like a real father. My mother stood right by me. She said, you're my son. You'll always be my son. You stay here as long as you have a job. This was the treatment I got as a child. Doc, you could give a little. I hurt inside. It's very, very hard. It's very hard. I'm sorry. I promised myself I wasn't going to cry today. I am so That's sorry. A, just let it out, please. 
Sometimes when I get like this, if, if and I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, I just want to lie you flat down on the ground and just flop down on top of you like a big pancake and just talk. What if we just did some, some um, breathing exercises? What about you, Doc? What about your needs? Do you jazz dance? I mean, I, I just... Uh, I do I, tap and I do modern, but I don't do, I don't do jazz. Well, I just do a lot of interpretive in jazz, and I just wonder, I mean, I know this is off the subject, but you know, I look at you, and, I, and you, you're so rhythmic-looking. That shiny head of yours, and the... I don't. I don't think you're. you're this is a hernia, physical. Doc. Can you feel this? Is this a hernia, a rupture, or just a general protrusion? No, that's 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 your penis, Dom. So it sounds like I got like a rattle in my chest. Listen, you hear like a wheeze. Or... You hear that? No, I, I don't. Is that hear bad anything. for you, Doc? No, I think I, I think that you 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 can talk yourself into thinking you have all kinds of physical ailments. But Could I... you die from that, though? Could you die from... from the thought of the talk? No, Doc. Do you ever get so hungry you just want to punch somebody in the face? Um. So, Mr. Herrera, how is your session? Uh, I'm I'm better. Feel great, thanks. That's wonderful. Wow. How are you going to pay? He's good. Uh, pay? Uh, I'll pay probably you know cash, I guess. It's... Okay, cash is good. Uh, I mean, I got cash. I got loads of cash. How yep. much is it? That's a hundred and fifty dollars. Ouch. Could I oski? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not asking you to be a phony, but some of the people I see don't really like themselves very much, so we don't want to reinforce those feelings. Uh, who's we? Well, I, I mean... Oh, look, all I say is have a seat. He'll be with you in a minute. If that fills them with some kind of self-loathing, then they need help. Well, couldn't you make a, a little effort, you know? I, I don't think you understand. Do you have any idea what it's like to deal with crazy people all day? No. Okay. Well, I guess I didn't really see it from... from uh, from your vantage point. Okay. Well, what do you, what do you know about um, about the Vietnamese uh, pot-bellied pigs? What don't I know? Mm. Uh, no, pot-bellied pigs. That supposedly is the pig of uh, the pig du jour. Uh -huh. um, do they have pigs in in Vietnam? They do, and they have two less than they used to because they're going to be in my apartment any day now. You know, I would bet the farm that the Vietnamese pigs are those, those are the, the, like the tiny ones, the miniatures. Because oh. it's a small country. You can't... I don't know. Ben's convinced me we can get milk from them. That is disgusting. You guys need another round? Uh, yeah, can I get a, uh, a mudslide on the beach? Okay. That's not a drink? Uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe it's a drink. On the rocks. Go oh, ahead. come on. Just come on. No, all right, I'll have uh, just a. Uh, uh, a Zinfandel on the beach. Stanley, you are just uh -huh. so weird. Hey, the little deedle daddle. I don't know. I was just thinking of um, what, are, what are they called? Diversifying? Diversified funds. Yeah. yeah. Uh, diversified is good, but you want to vary it. Um, I would say uh, stock driven mutual funds uh, with an APR perhaps of uh, 6 to 8%. Should I be writing this down? No. Okay. I would say uh, you need a diversified portfolio, and you need to do uh, stock averaging and stock cost productions averaging percentages. You know, it's like you're talking another language to me. It makes so little sense to me. I know so little about money. And uh, I, no, I uh, think th definitely you need to diversify. Yeah. You need uh, you need s uh, some mutual funds, maybe a CD, maybe just a regular LP. Anything. I just I just feel like I'm like I'm treading water, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm making I'm making good money, I'm billing good money, but you have I don't a, know where it goes. You, have a, you need you, to pool, get everything in a pool, uh -huh. and then diversify. Well, let me write that down, because I'm not, I'm not going to remember this tomorrow. Pool and diversify. Pool and diversify, and, okay. and within a year, you could have like over $100. Pure profit, nothing. I don't know. Maybe you should call a financial planner. So you're just jerking me around. You don't really know what you're talking about. Uh, my heart is in it. <laughs> Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. One smart fellow. He eh? felt, one smart fellow, he felt smart. One, you know that one? One fart smell. That's right. Oh. Well, you walked into that one. Red leather, yellow leather.
You, you know what I'd like to do right now? No, Dominic, I don't. I just like to lay down on top of you. I like to put you flat down on the floor mm -hmm. and just lie down on top of you, Doc. Flat, level two guys, flat, face to face. Oh. And then I like to put a big red flowing chiffon evening gown on you and ride you around my house. Not in a gay way, like a Viking, like only two Vikings who are so secure in their Norse heritage that they could ride each other up and down the steps and not have one tinge of homosexual panic. Do you see it? Um, you know, like with me holding the horns on your metal helmet? Um, that don't make me gay or nothing, right? Whoops, you know what the music means. Our time is up. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central. Hey!